This is the general order or checklist to use when reviewing zoning standards for our development project. 1. Determine if our use is in allowed use. Each zone will have a list of allowed uses. In our case in Atherton, the zone is R4N, with the R designating residential. Now, be careful here, sometimes cities use R sometimes not for residential. It is best to always check the zoning designation on your map, then check what is allowed. One opportunity is to look for zoning, that is not obviously residential, but say commercial, or mixed use, or industrial, and that allows residential within that zone. Sometimes cities say residential is allowed in a commercial zone with a conditional use permit, CUP, or some other process, that allows the city to condition our project, but yet allows residential in a non-residential zone. Adding conditions, means to add extra requirements to the normal requirements. This might mean better exterior finishes, or we'll need to pay extra impact fees, or anything and everything they can think of. And by the way, it's not always fair, what they want to add, and that's the life of a developer. This is where our soft skills or political skills come in, where we as the developer are tasked with convincing a person at the city, a planner or city council member, that we want that extra condition, that they want removed or eliminated. This is a key skill for a developer, managing the bureaucracy and the bureaucrats.